Hello guys, right, a video with a difference and um, just really sort of an observations video, you know. Uh, if you follow me on Twitter, um, then you'll know that I've been uh, spent the last sort of uh, 24, 36 hours or whatever, day and a half, um, talking about and studying the Strat. Um, it's uh, Rob's uh, invention on... Um, Twitter is I also I follow him and uh, I've forgotten his handle but um, uh, he is uh, an ex professional trader I put a link to a video of his as well and in fact I will put a link in my playlist because I you know when you find gems like this in my opinion they are absolutely priceless and uh, for someone that's been on the trading floor uh, according to him since he was a boy uh, and his father was a trader in Chicago, then uh, you must take note, in my opinion. So, what we're looking at here, uh, and this isn't really a strategy video, it's just, as I say, an observational one, um, is blue inside bars and pink uh, outside bars. And, um, you know, if you want to know how to trade it, uh, really you need to study Rob's stuff. Uh, and anything you can find on the strat but uh, just this observation these outside bars represent because they are an outside bar they represent what Rob calls a triangle um, and uh, I think it, some people talk about them as cones I think or a trombone or a trumpet or something like that you know you get this uh, this pattern uh, like this on the charts so broadening range I suppose you could call it and that's what every one of these are and basically Rob um, has uh, identified along with Sarah as well she showed it well in her video how price can take out uh, lows and highs um, of previous price action by keep going uh, larger and larger range and then finally when it decides which uh, direction it wants to go it doesn't matter what time frame you're on it will go and this is what Rob's identified um, in a very comical way his videos in my opinion are well worth watching uh, you know just uh, find time if you can um, because they're very entertaining as well I mean he describes candles as puking <laughs> I'm just smiling all the way through his videos so uh, uh, in fact my face is hurting having watched um, three quarters of the first one so what we've got here look at this you know you've got this trombone because every one of these is a um, growing triangle like I described there um, because it's an outside bar and you can see we've got an out you know you could draw lines there and there well in fact I will hopefully we'll be able to see what uh, I'm trying to describe on this whoops apologies for the uh, amateurish why I'm doing this but that should then describe a triangle on the lower time frame if we can find it yeah something like this situation here I think and you can see you've got that outside bar there as well uh, you need to watch the true professionals uh, do this stuff you know, I've been doing price action for years and uh, this is sort of how I worked out 2B reversals, uh, hammer candles and all that sort of stuff. The higher time frame uh, has a, a different pattern to, uh, there you go, you've got the trombone jobby there. So that's what that one candle represents, that pink bar, and there, and there. And what Rob has identified is that when these finally break out of that uh, pattern, then they go with massive speed. Similar to the inside bar, he doesn't really talk about them too much from uh, January, but uh, you can see yourself. You know, that one gapped up there, uh, that one gapped up uh, and flew. Um, you know, this one's gone down, we had an inside bar after it, and then a massive move down. So you can see the potential. And also, these represent, oops, why is my chart not moving? Ah, oh, there. They represent fantastic areas of um, uh, support and resistance as well. So if you've got one of these, you know, look at the move there. 
look at the move there so um, I've got this little indicator um, inside outside bar indie um, I had to find the MQL code for this and I can't remember where I got it to uh, edit it so that it didn't keep switching when you when you set the indie visualization no colors colors this is uh, set to one in some circumstances two in another you can change it but when you change your time frame it goes back to whatever it was default so um, got into the code and just changed it to four so that that suits my um, eyesight uh, these days but uh, getting back to the the outside bars you can see the massive move and and I think the potential of this is when you see one of these uh, uh, triangles break out normally people draw wedges Rob trades the exact opposite the breakouts of these massive um, uh, megaphones ranges whatever you want to call it and look at the power of that move when it goes down and look at the power of that move when it breaks up so uh, this is a weekly chart but um, uh, price action is fractal so you can try trade the same patterns on uh, the um, lower time frames as well but as Rob says time frame continuity that's a new uh, phrase for me you need to uh, use all your time frames to build up the bigger picture but you know look at this outside bar here we've got one here and then we've got this uh, monster one here and when price finally breaks above the two bang up it goes pukes as he says uh, unbelievable really really useful little addition to uh, your charts in my opinion if you can get this and you know the one two three candles of the strat are very very easy uh, you don't have to have the numbers on your charts if you've got MT4. All you need is an outside inside bar identifier. That's, an, that's a one candle in inside bar. That is a three candle, an outside bar, and everything else are twos. So when you see these um, uh, various charts that these people post on the Strat, that's all they are. A bundle of twos will be everywhere. The odd one scattered about and the odd three scattered about. But look at the price, well, the way it moves when it breaks out of these levels. Admittedly, that one broke out both sides, so you would have got caught. And that's worth mentioning as well. Listening to Rob's videos, he says that they get loads and loads of stop outs with his strategy because uh, it doesn't matter. He doesn't mind that. And you'll have to follow his stuff uh, to see where to put stops and, and uh, uh, take profits and so on. But he gets lots of stop outs because they go for these monster, monster moves. And as you'll hear in his videos, if you take the time to watch them, which I implore you do, uh, then you'll hear him say two, two, a two, a two, a two, uh, because these twos are just continuations. Then finally, you get this uh, two that breaks back against itself, another candle that breaks the high of another candle. Everything that isn't a one or a three is a two, okay? But um, you're going to have to do some homework on this, guys. But, you know, for me, having another... I've, I've, I've always been aware of inside bars and outside bars and traded strategies that, for years with them and studied them and tried to do EAs and indicators. But I think something that, you know, I'm always, always really, really... Uh, aware of now is that we have so many new styles of trading coming out because of all these different indicators because of all these clever people because of all these um, the charts that the ease of which we've got the charts that you will never ever ever stop improving in my opinion so my apologies if I seem to sort of chop and change between different ideas and things I will always use the three candle reversal I will most likely always rely on a momentum indicator. I know Rob thinks they, he laughs at them by all accounts. Any indicator and um, any style of uh, old-fashioned, what I call old-fashioned style of chart, uh, chart charting, um, because he's got this and he, he breathes, lives and breathes it. And uh, quite frankly, I can see why, you know. I mean, if you've got a pink outside bar up here, 
then you know that level is massively significant and remember we're on a weekly chart so these moves will be massive when they break out of that level not sure why oh I've got two sets of uh, uh, charts open two trading panels that's why my, this is uh, so slow I can't even put the crosshairs on there but that move will be massive between the high of that and um, the uh, the high of the eventual move so you know if you've got these on your charts you know when it moves outside of these areas it is going to fly so uh, just knowing that is priceless in my opinion so um, you know and it just price action one of the m most beautiful things about price action for me is that it never changes you know what happened decades ago you know we're back at 2006 still happens today chart patterns never change okay guys uh, apologies for sort of skipping about here and uh, it being a bit of a vague video but you know this is priceless in my opinion you know knowing that high when it breaks it's going to absolutely fly is uh, is uh, well worth knowing so uh, and we can use the RSI histo and the lower time frames and three CRs to enter these trades it's just that um, in my opinion you will probably get a much s stronger idea of uh, how to stay in the trades and where to uh, put your take profits and so on so thanks for watching have a good day